Ah, hello guys. Uh, hope you are doing well with your WooCommerce. So I am Jad Musharraf, uh, the author of WooCommerce Open Close plugin. Uh, this is plugin is an extension. Is an extension of WooCommerce that uh, manages your shop's opening and closing time for different days of a week. So uh, nowadays uh, the Customer, the users of WooCommerce Open Close extension is increasing day by day. So, uh, I got few requests. I got uh, often the request that uh, something is not working on the demo or not on their website, and I need to uh, solve this uh, one by one manually. So, I thought uh, that uh, if I would make a uh, exact clear cut video that will uh, show what uh, would be the problem and what uh, should think. Uh, before installing this uh, WooCommerce Open Close, uh, so uh, from that thinking, I am making this video for uh, just uh, to make sure that everything is okay with your WooCommerce and uh, everything will work fine with it, with this. Okay, so uh, let's just start. So that. I got also a request that the demo link was not working. Yes, uh, I am extremely sorry for that. The demo, the demo link uh, of the previous one, uh, which we, which uh, was displaying here, that was not working. So I corrected that link also. So copy this link and paste and directly enter to the WP admins to view the backend of this website. So uh, this is opening. Okay, you need to collect the username and password uh, for the demo users uh, from uh, this page uh, from the wordpress.org uh, page. So, this is I am not going to use the admin access demo and password is PASSWORT. Okay, the login is successful so uh, uh, I, I already installed the plugin so after installing you will see that uh, there is no active hour set uh, when you will install this plugin on your own website so uh, okay so let's see the front end of this website okay so uh, you need to uh, at first, at very first, you need to create a hour set, a hour set that will maintain that will maintain by the website. So you need to create a hour set that will be followed. Okay, so add new. This is very fast and a very important and uh, important and obvious thing for this uh, extension. So let's create uh, i'm taking as uh, this business business hour our business schedule business. okay then you need to set that what time you want to open your shop and when you want to close your shop so today is on my local time today is Wednesday and right now it is uh, 12 18 a.m. so this is Wednesday I am going directly to the Wednesday and uh, creating a hour set uh, that uh, my website will uh, start that uh, 9 to 5 p.m. 5 p.m. that means 17 that means 9 to 5 p.m. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. okay so I'm publishing this okay. so first thing you need to create a hour set okay number one so I am writing this on a text file. This 
steps. So what is first? We need to create an our set. Second, the second thing you need to set an active our set from the setting. Okay. Uh, one thing you should notice that uh, uh, we already uh, said that uh, our website should uh, only be open for ordering for taking order uh, uh, just above uh, we said that 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Wednesday in my local time so but the way uh, it says the shop is open it says uh, see here the shop is open what's the reason because you just said that uh, your shop should uh, be open only for 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Wednesday and today is Wednesday and your shop is open on a wrong time so the second important thing you need to set these recently created hours as an active time set so you need to go to the setting and our business schedule select from here and set this setting okay so second thing is select an active award set from settings as this setting means plugin settings not the wordpress settings okay so now what will happen the shop is closed okay so open this now the shop is closed okay so you can set custom messages uh, for uh, your users uh, what will be displayed on the front end we are not delivering at this moment please check later thanks okay. update it and see the front side okay we are not delivering at this moment. Please check later. Thanks. You can hide this. Uh, witness day. This is 9 to 17. Okay. Okay. So, from this step, uh, maximum people are able to uh, come from, uh, at there, but uh, uh, there are some more few steps to work it perfectly as it should okay so what will happen when uh, a, a customer uh, is trying to order at the uh, different time uh, that uh, the time is not uh, open for delivery okay so this settings means that you are not uh, willing to take order right now okay so when customer click on add to cart a pop-up will open that we are not delivering the message you set from the back end and the order will not continue and not even added to cart note that this option is only available I am repeating that this option is only available on the premium version not in the free version on the free version you will have the option you will have the way to only show the message warning message at the bottom here not able to restrict your customer from ordering or adding cart product to the cart okay so is that clear so note that three important thing you should consider that a note it's a note that restriction to order only available on premium version 
not in free version okay so this is the third important thing you should consider about this plugin okay so let's play with the timing here is a option that local time of this wordpress installation currently set to dhaka bangladesh so the wordpress is now currently following the time from bangladesh so you can see the time from the time and date website uh, if you are from different origin different location of the world so you will have an idea about the local time uh, from this website okay so the the website the demo website is currently following this timetable okay so come back here and now you want your users to uh, avail order uh, place order at different time wait next day okay just add and time schedule you are willing that your customer should avail to take uh, avail to place order from am to 1 am and you can make that offer okay, update it now reload the front end So, what does it mean? It means that on Wednesday, today is Wednesday. Okay, the order, the customer can able to order from 12 a.m. to 11 a.m. and right now it's just 26 minute fast from the. 9th August. That means uh, it's uh, uh, right now it's uh, 12 27. 12 27. And from the settings, the website should allow the customers to place order. And that means the shop is open. Okay. But it is not working. Many people have this problem. Many people, I am repeating that many people have this problem that they are set everything, everything, everything on the website, but the system is not working so i uh, i request to to concentrate on this part okay so you set everything okay but the website is not uh, allowing you to order okay so there is an extra option on the setting i added on the last version that there is an extra option to handle your website order number restriction it is that means you can restrict maximum order on a day on your website that you will only uh, uh, imagine that you will only uh, take order for uh, 100 order per day not more than 100 so when your total order count is 100 or more than 100 when you reach to the maximum order count that is 100 per day then even your shop is open but no one can order so if you want to handle this if you want to manage this then you should enable this yes otherwise no just select no okay so reload the website see the front end
that means everything is green shop is open shop is open and people can take place order okay okay so is that clear so the fourth thing you should maintain that if you are not handling restriction by total order count then turn it off from the settings okay so this is these are the four things you should uh, keep in mind for the uh, here is the time schedule you are following you are maintaining for your website you said this for, for Wednesday and you said nothing for Tuesday nothing for Monday nothing for Thursday nothing for Friday nothing for Saturday nothing for Sunday so this is the live website and I just uh, play I just uh, uh, make everything on your uh, on live so you can try this also on this website and uh, let me know if you have any problem okay so any problem any kind of problem just let me know from our website there is an option for placing uh, request or just directly uh, get to me that uh, follow on this email that plugin buzzer dot plugin buzzer at gmail dot com okay and for any inquiry for any update please visit us https plugin buzzer .net. okay thank you any problem just Reach me out of this. The email is preferred way. Okay. Bye bye.